Hi, this is Jessica with Dining Traveler and welcome to the Dining Traveler cooking series where we make dishes from our favorite destinations at home. And this edition is all about the holidays and today we're gonna make truffle mac and cheese which is one of my guests favorite at my Thanksgiving dinners. And it is rich, decadent, and surprisingly easy to make. So let's get started. The first step is to make the pasta. We put it in already and this is a brand called La Molisana which I really like and the cooking time says 10 minutes so I took out two minutes, cooked it for eight because then it's going in the oven for 20 minutes and you just don't want it to get mushy. While the pasta is cooking, you get started with the bechamel sauce and I'm gonna warn you right now, this is gonna be heavy and decadent and delicious. So if you're gonna be like, oh my God, that's so much fat, that's a heart attack, um, this is a time to log off this video, find a salad or something else, it's the holidays, just let me live. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat all this. So it is what it is, disclaimer done. So the first step is to make the roux. So with the roux, we're gonna put in the butter first and we're gonna just let that melt. It's probably gonna take a minute or two. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add the flour. I like to lower my heat to a medium low heat. And what I'm gonna do is with a whisk, and I love this ball whisk. I think it's really good when you're mixing in sauces with the little balls in the bottom and it's gonna turn into a nice paste. Once the roux is turned into a nice paste, we are going to add the cream and the milk. We're gonna stir this and make sure that it is all incorporated and you just also wanna make sure that the roux is not clumping up. So just make sure to give it a very good whisk. Okay. Now that the milk and the roux are incorporated, we're gonna add the grated truffle and you can find this at most specialty stores. You can also order it online. I put a link in the description and some salt and pepper. It smells so good. I love, love the smell of truffle. And we're gonna cook this in a medium heat and it's gonna take like around five to six minutes to thicken up. So just make sure to keep an eye on it. While the bechamel sauce is in the making, we're gonna talk a little bit about the cheese. So I use a mix of Gruyere and cheddar and just make sure it's good quality cheddar because again, this is your VIP mac and cheese. Not everybody gets this mac and cheese. And I love, love Gruyere. I fell in love with it when I first moved to Europe. The flavor is buttery, but it also has a little bit of that grassy taste. I was visiting there recently and I fell in love with the region and how they make their cheese. It's amazing. And this one is a young Gruyere because the melting point I find that is a little bit better and it's not as salty as the aged Gruyere. And also it's a bit more affordable. So that's that. The bechamel sauce is done and we took it off the heat. And now we're gonna add the cheese. the cheddar. I also find that it's a bit symbolic. Cheddar and Gruyere, American and European. Mm, I love this treat. Now we mix it in. So the cheese is incorporated in the bechamel sauce and now to add a little extra I'm gonna add some truffle oil, so around a teaspoon and a half. Not too much because we already have a lot of that truffle smell from the shavings. And we're gonna just mix that in. Oh, I wish there was a scratch and sniff function for this video so you guys can smell it. So you can see it's nice and thick. Mm, 
Now the pasta is cooked and drained and we're gonna add it to the cheese mixture. macaroni in a pot. <laughs> We're gonna mix it all together before we put it in the baking dish. We preheated our oven to 400 degrees and now we're gonna transfer this to a baking dish. And we're gonna cook it for around 15 to 20 minutes until you see it nice and brown on the top. These little sets are heavy, man. Let's make sure that all that nice sauce is in there. No truffle left behind. You can also make this ahead of time, just don't put it in the oven, cover it tightly with tin foil, put it in the fridge, and when you're ready to do it, just let it get a bit to room temperature and then bake it for 15 minutes. So now it is time to place it in the oven at 400 degrees for around 15 minutes or until it is brown and bubbly on top. And speaking on top, I forgot to film the part where I sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan on top just to make it a bit more decadent. And it's heavy, man, so. Pound the pasta, pound the cheese, look. Put the timer because if not, stuff burns. Okay. The mac and cheese is baked. It smells delicious. Even in my building hallway, it smells like truffles. So it is a nice treat and for the important part to taste. It is hot. Mm. Not because I made it, but it is delicious. 